Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Ah, today we'll be painting Thor Jane Foster, I think that's her name, and Lady Sif from Marvel Crisis Protocol by Atomic Mass Games. This is going to be a bit of a long one, so let's just jump into it. First thing we are going to do is give them a Zenithal spray, so dark spray, white spray from above. Then we're going to grab some burnt red, and this is going to go on all you, yep, you know it, all the red stuff. So Thor's cape, mighty Thor's cape, and then Lady Sif is mostly red. So um, yeah, check the box art, check your references, go online, find out all the spots that are red. Then we're going to take some Payne's Gray here, and this is going to go on all the gray spots of Thor and uh, Mighty Thor, which is Jane Foster, I'm pretty sure. So Jane Foster and Thor. So boots, shirt, um, little skirt thing there. I guess that's just more of the shirt sticking out from under the belt. Um, but yeah, we want to go through and get this on all the spots that should be that dark bluish gray. Next, we're taking some beige red here, and this is going on everything that we want to be skin. So, faces, hands, arms, legs, anywhere where there isn't cloth and that skin is showing, this is going on there. I don't know if, because this is part of the Vince uh, Venturella uh, signature series from Pro Acryl. I don't know if it's meant to be a flesh tone, but I'm pretty sure it is, because it's a really good base flesh tone. Next, we're taking some leather brown here. This is going to go on all the belts and straps for Thor and Mighty Thor. It's also going to go on the skirt that uh, Mighty Thor has and also the wrappings around her ankle. But yeah, on regular Thor, it's just going on his belts and the strap across his chest. You can also throw it on the wrappings on his uh, hammer's uh, handle. Next, we're taking some Enchanted Steel. So we're going to use this on everything we want to be that dark silver color, um, except for the hammers. I'm going to do those with uh, a different color later. But all over his arms, his legs, his helmet, um, those little uh, circle designs on his chest, and also all over uh, Mighty Thor's helmet. And uh, her. she's got some metal on her ankles as well and her chest plate. Basically, everywhere we want silver that isn't the hammer also on Lady Sif's little crown here. Next, we're taking some desert yellow and that is going on the two Thor's hair. Next, we're taking some oak brown here and that's gonna just go on the belt that uh, Mighty Thor is wearing. I'm also gonna throw this on the handle of her hammer. I apologize for it being a little blurry there, sorry. Next we're taking some dark neutral gray and that's just going on Lady Sif's hair. Next we're taking some speed paint medium and some Berserker blood shade. We're gonna thin this down quite a bit. This is going over all the skin that we did. So it's a really nice skin color, but I wanna build it up. I want it to have a little bit more red. I thought it would dry a little bit more reddish pink, but it didn't, which is good um, that it didn't change colors. But yeah, it's going all over the skin. Next, we're taking some vampiric flesh, and that's just going on Lady Sif's little uh, uh, fur collar that she has here. Now we're taking some dark sea gray, and we're just going to use this on the uh, tassels that she has hanging down. Now we're going to take some Nasdrag Yellow and some Speed Paint Medium. This is going all over the two Thor's hair and also anywhere where we put that leather brown earlier. And also on the fur collar on Lady Sif. We're taking some Grave Lord Gray and some Speed Paint Medium. This is going over anywhere where we did the Payne's Gray. Also anywhere where we did the Enchanted Steel. We're also going to use this on Lady Sif's hair as well. So you just want to go through, don't let it pool too much, you know, except for where you want it to, and just get it on there. 
Next, we're taking our Wyvern Fury and our Pure Red. We're gonna go on with a layer of Wyvern Fury first over all of the Burnt Red that we did. And we're just bringing up that color. So the same way we've layered in every other video that we've done, um, we're leaving the Burnt Red in the recesses and just doing the raised parts. So we're just getting those upper, upper parts of everything. And it's not too bad for Thor and Mighty Thor, but Lady Sif is mostly red, so we want to take extra care there. Then we're going to go to our pure red, and we're going to do up our next layer. So again, we're leaving the recesses with burnt red. Then we have the Wyvern Fury over top, and then we're just doing like the edges and the most rays area with our pure red. So now we're just going through with all that pure red on Lady Sif, and yeah, we're just bringing it all up. We're taking our Payne's Gray and we're mixing in a little bit of Thunderous Blue, and that's going to be our first layer up on that original Payne's Gray color that we washed with the Gravelord Gray. Same thing we just did on the capes and on the red. Leave your colors in the recesses, layer everything up. We'll add in some more thunderous blue and we'll do another layer up. This will be our final layer up on that. And it's the same process. We're just leaving a little bit of what we just painted behind and doing the raised areas. Next, we're taking our leather brown. We're gonna go through on the leather brown that we washed with the Nasdra yellow. And we're just gonna bring the layer up. Same thing. It's just um, giving us our depth and our contrast. We're gonna take a little bit of ice yellow and add that into our leather brown just to get another shade up and we're gonna do our final layer up on all of that leather brown color. Taking some vampiric flesh and we're gonna just do some tiny dots and little scrapes to bring up the color on Lady Sif's fur collar. I don't know if you guys know how hard it is to say, bring up the color on a fur collar. I really have to think hard about saying it because I want to say, bring up the color on a full color. Yeah, see? Bring up the color on a fur collar. Wow. Next, we're taking some polished silver, and this is going all over Lady Sif's sword. It's also going to go over the hammers that the Thors have. Next, we're taking some light umber here, and we're just going to use this to highlight up that oak brown that we did on her belt and the handle of her hammer. Uh, just so we're clear as well, I know the hammer's name is Mjolnir. I just didn't want to have to say Mjolnir a thousand times in this video because I'm definitely going to mess it up a bunch. And we're going to take our dark neutral gray. We're going to add in a little bit of dark sea gray and do a layer up on Lady Sif's hair. So, you know, we just want to get in there get as many of the strands as we can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll add in a little bit more dark sea gray and do another layer up and then that hair is done. Next, we're taking our silver gray here, and we're going to go through and we're going to pick out all the straps on Lady Sif. Uh, when I was painting this originally, I figured I'll just cover over it with red and then go back in later and repaint it. So we're just bringing up all those colors, check the reference photos, and also the tassels that she has hanging there. Next, we're taking some greedy gold, and we're going to do um, the design on Lady Thor's helmet. Also, there's a, a little design she has on her belt and a, this sort of diamond on her chest plate. And also over on Thor, he has a bit of a inlay on like his chest piece and also his belt buckle. Next, we're taking some desert yellow. We're gonna light that down with some ice yellow and do a layer up on all the blonde hair that we did on the two Thors. Going to add in a little bit more ice yellow and do a final layer up. And we're going to take some white blue here and I'm just going to use these on the wings on the side of Thor's helmet. Now we're going to take some tan flesh and we're going to do our first layer up on all of the skin. So, um, again, any of those raised areas, chin, tip of the nose, 
you know, cheeks, um, the hands, anywhere where we're showing skin, we're doing a layer up of everything. And it's easier for me to just show you this on, on just Thor because he has, he, he's a little bit bigger, so it's the most defined for a recording. Then we're gonna add in just a little touch of Dorado skin. We're gonna do another layer up on all of that skin. And um, yeah, once that's done, this skin is done. Gonna take some ash and stone and some speed paint medium. Let's just go on his wings really quickly. Now we're gonna take some Pilar Glacier and we're gonna do pretty much a thick kind of coat of this on all the lightning that they have on their bases. So I really like using this color over white for lightning. Um, I don't know, it just, it seems to be a really quick and easy way to get it looking well, how I think it should without really having to go through and do a lot of edge highlighting or we don't have to do any extra dry brushing. I mean, we can do all that stuff if we want after. This just gives us some really good lightning without having to do too much work. We're going to take some white blue. We're going to dot in their eyes. We're going to do the bases and these guys are done. And here they are all finished up. And you know what? They turned out really good. Uh, I really like the red and the gray. Um, the lightning is a little bit less blue than it should be on my camera. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Uh, Lady Sif, she's got a really cool sculpt, really dynamic pose. Um, I'm happy with how she turned out as well. And here is uh, Thor. I'm really happy with how he turned out. Um, yeah such a cool miniature it was a lot of fun to paint so what do you guys think are you guys gonna pick this pack up at all let me know in the comments below uh i definitely don't really play asgard that much but i really wanted these miniatures because they have uh, much more of a classic feel like the thor and the loki especially look like the older comic book characters and i really love those designs so i really wanted these and then uh, the Mighty Thor and Lady Sif are really cool as well. So, um, yeah, what are you guys doing? You're picking them up? Also, it seems that AMG has definitely learned from their Storm character, which was, I think, the first one they did on Lightning, and you can pretty much just shake her around. Like, you could put her on the dash of your car, and she'll just move around. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. I've had this hammer since like 2012 and I've just been waiting to use it in a video. So, thank goodness.